Hello everyone, I am Richard Mitchell, the Reviews Content Director here at Joystick. And uh, we've been doing a lot of streaming lately, and I've been doing a lot, and I'm still relatively new at it. And uh, one of the problems I've run into has to do with uh, audio sync issues if you're using one of these. This is the Game Capture HD from Elgato. It's a very popular capture box uh, because it's cheap. It's very user friendly, uh, uses HDMI interface, and it runs on USB. Uh, but since it runs on USB 2.0, it actually introduces a little bit of a delay between uh, what you do while you're playing a game on your television and uh, when that gets processed in uh, like Open Broadcaster, for example. And this is being recorded on Open Broadcaster. That's what we use at Joystick. Uh, it's a great little box. You know, it lets you capture your Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One. Uh, you can use adapters to uh, run retro consoles like the NES but you do have to deal with this very slight delay. A second and a half doesn't sound like much, but it can make a difference. So I'll show you this, for example. I'm playing uh, a little bit of Earthworm HD, uh, the remake that was put out on XBLA PSN. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I like Earthworm Jim. Anyway, uh, so I'm just running around in the game and I'm jumping and I'm jumping and I'm shooting stuff and I'm jumping again and I have OBS configured correctly so that all of these actions are in sync so that when I say I jump and I press the button at the same time I jump and then I jump now typically uh, the Elgato game capture has this about a second and a half delay so what happens if I say jump and I press the button at the same time it's gonna look like this jump so you see there's a little bit of a delay. Now I'm just sort of making that up because like I said, I have it set up properly. But you have this second and a half delay. So the question is, how do you get rid of it so that as you're speaking, things are properly in sync? Because if you're playing Halo and you say double kill and the double kill doesn't happen until a second and a half later, it's kind of weird, right? So if you want to set this up properly, here's what you have to do. In OBS, you're going to change some settings. And, and just so you know, I found this on the OBS forum. This is from one of the, one, <laughs> this is from one of the developers. It tells you exactly what you have to do. Now, so you're going to jump into the settings. Go to Advanced. And right here at the top, in the General section, you're going to set Scene Buffering Time to 2,000 milliseconds. Uh, so it's going to take 2,000 milliseconds to buffer every scene in OBS, and I'll explain why that's important here in a minute. And then you're going to move down to the audio section, and here you're going to set a delay of, in the global audio sync offset, you're going to set a delay of 1,450 milliseconds. Uh, now, the forum that I was talking about says 1,500 milliseconds, but, you know, it might differ a little bit based on your system. Uh, the hardware that you're using. For me, uh, a delay of 1450 looks a little bit more in sync than 1500 does, but it might be different for your system, so you can play with that a little bit. So, global audio sync offset. What that means is you have now delayed all of the audio coming through OBS by 1450 milliseconds. So about about a second and a half, all the audio has been delayed. So now your audio would sync up with the Elgato, except you've actually introduced a new problem that we have to correct really quickly. You have to jump into the Elgato settings. Because remember, the Elgato already had a delay of about a second and a half, right? Now we've added an audio delay of another second and a half, so it's going to look like a three second delay if we don't fix this. So going into the Elgato settings under audio, audio sync offset, you want to set that to negative 1450. So basically you've offset all of the audio coming through OBS and now you have uh, negated that offset just for the Elgato. So now everything else is delayed by a second and a half. The Elgato has its second and a half that's already kind of built into it. And now everything's in sync. And something else to keep in mind is if you use uh, like a webcam, for example, you're going to have to change uh, the offset for that too. So if I open up my webcam settings, uh, I'm going to set uh, the video buffering to, for me, for some reason, it's 1350 milliseconds. 
even though everything else is 1450 uh, I played around with some of the settings and to me this 1350 it looks like the words coming out of my mouth and my mouth actually moving up and down actually matches up better at 1350 again it might be different based on what kind of webcam you're using and your computer your interfaces all that kind of stuff so I've got this webcam setting of 1350 and now everything is pretty much in sync and this is important uh, not just so that you're synced up with your video uh, in OBS or in the Elgato but also so that all of your audio is in sync so if you have like a Skype call and you have someone on uh, Twitch with you on Skype uh, now they will sound in sync because if you don't do this uh, it'll sound like the interplay between you is a little bit off like someone might ask a question and you might answer it before they've actually finished asking the question now in real time as you're recording it it all sounds fine but when it comes through the stream these audio things if they're not set right they can sound uh, out of sync basically so I need to let's get earthworm Jim back where it belongs and I'm actually going to call Mr. Mike Suzak so he can help me out and you can see this in action right Hi, Hello. Mike. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm doing just fine. This is a very cordial, genial call we're having right now. Oh, yeah? Um, so, you're going to help me out uh, with my special OBS Elgato video. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, this is like a sound sync thing. So, what I want to do is you're going to ask me a question, whatever you want. Okay. I'm, I'm going to answer that as fast as I can, and then whatever I respond to you with, I want you to respond to that as fast as you can. Okay. Okay, so ask me anything you want. Okay. Uh, Richard, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Uh, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Like, specifically, uh, I think it's probably hunter green. You know, kind of a nice dark green. Uh, see, I prefer more of an emerald green, personally. But I, th I always thought of you as more of a blue kind of guy. Uh, really? Just, like, a straight up, like, everyone in the world, my favorite color is blue? You know, I think that's one of the problems with people is everybody thinks that everyone else's favorite color is blue, so they choose another color. Oh, and that leaves so much room on Team Blue. Like, you can <laughs> join Team Blue. There's so so many people being disingenuous because they don't want to sound like right. another tool who picked blue. Right. Okay. And everybody's picking pink. Everybody's picking black. Some I see. I hear a lot of that, which is weird. Because that's, like, basically, what, the absence of color. Like, you're crazy, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Okay. I don't know. Ah! I'm getting murdered here. I'm playing Earthworm Jim. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. Thank you, Mike. You've been very sure. helpful, probably. Not a problem. Okay. <laughs> all right, later. Bye. So as you can see, like, all of that audio is in sync. We have this nice interplay. Nothing is, you know, nothing sounds off. It's all the way it should be. The gameplay audio is good. Uh, all of these settings will help you achieve your dreams. Oh, I'm getting murdered by glass. Um... So, set all those settings the way Dunn told you to set them, and everything should be fine. And remember, this is just for OBS uh, and the Elgato Game Capture HD. Your results uh, with, with other configurations may vary, uh, but this has worked for me, and I hope this video is helpful for you. And uh, if you're not a Joystick staff member, I really hope you enjoyed it because you were not forced to watch it, like all of the Joystick staff members will be. So, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time.